Seen while walking down the street, a Ziploc bag tacked above a door seems to contain water and a few pennies. No other doors in the area were like this. Looks to be in a strip of businesses converted to apartments. What could this be for? It's a homemade mosquito and flies deterrent. The light reflecting off the water and pennies is supposed to scare off pesky bugs. What is this piece of silver found on Mustang Island right off of the Gulf of Mexico? It was on the beach. It is about the size of a quarter and feels like silver. On one side, I found what looks to be Greek letters. I also ran it through Google Lens, and the results for side 1 were a little weird, and side 2 looked like Spanish Roman. The picture is precisely how we found it on the beach. I have a bunch of those. I actually got 200 of them on Amazon to go with a pirate costume for like 15 bucks. What is this house in the middle of the ocean? When we sailed out of the port, I spotted this about a mile out on the Mississippi River in Mobile, Alabama. When I went on a cruise, that's the Mobile Bay Lighthouse. The station was activated in 1885. What is this thing I found at a thrift store? It has a small compass and a digital screen, the two slots in the front are both spring-loaded, and they remind me of something I had as a kid for storing coins. No other marks, names, or logos on the thing either. It's an 80s car insert, compass for use with map slots for holding coins for tolls. Ford or Mazda is my guess. What are these weird symbols in Saskatchewan? I'm a survey pilot and I took these from 21,000 feet. They're massive and only in two or three fields, located in the south of Regina, more towards Weyburn. That is Duck's Unlimited Waterfowl Habitat. These habitat conserves, restores, and manages wetlands and associated habitats for North America's waterfowl. These habitats also benefit other wildlife and people. This hotel room bed leg has a red flashing light coming from the rubber piece. It's a nice hotel in Paris. Don't think it's anything dodgy. I just can't work out what it could be for. Seems to be integrated into the bed leg, but no wire coming from it or anything. It's not a button and cannot be pushed out. The light flashes red every couple of seconds. Any ideas? It's a mesh bed bug detector. Something made entirely of rubber with seven tentacles found in a bath. Don't know what else to say, I tried to search for it on Google and using the Lens app, but could find anything similar. It's a shower squid, you put shampoo and shower gel bottles in the loops. What is this tool I found in my workshop? The crank at the back spins the front section around, and the trigger at the bottom triggers a sort of percussion. No markings. It's a manual circular hole cutter for tile, like when adding a faucet in a shower. The lever is there to force the cutting end down on the tile. I found this in a shop, I'm not too sure what it is, but planning on using it for a school project. The dial on the top twists and moves the cogs in the bottom, but they seem like they're locked or something. Slightly heavy, about the weight of a laptop or lighter, made entirely of metal it seems. I would really love some help. It's a Singer buttonholer. It is used to make buttonholes when making clothing. Design fit for the low vertical shank Singer sewing machines, or as long as your machine is a low shank, this attachment will work properly. Potential Masonic jewel with an H instead of a G. Does anyone know specifically what this is or what it means? It's 5 cm in diameter, metallic, and has what looks to be the letter H surrounded by a square and compass. The backside looks exactly the same. We found this emblem in the gutter of my parents' roof in southern Germany. Might have been there for a couple of decades. The house is over a century old. These were super popular in the 20s. The vertical of the H looks like pillars. These pillars outside Solomon's temple are important to Freemasons. The circle is the circumpunct with the altar in the middle, or you as a character with the circle being the boundaries of what is morally right. The two triangles are our pursuits and efforts toward God and God's pursuits and efforts toward us. It is all unified in the center. 
What is this some type of clamp? May be placed between legs. From the farming area in northern Ontario, the thing below the handle is a leather hinge to allow one of the jaws to open. Any ideas? It's a leather stitching pony. It is a wooden tool with two arms that are used to hold leather items securely while they are being sewn by hand. I stumbled upon this monstrosity while walking my property in West Palm Beach, Florida. I just moved in a few months ago. It appears to be solid metal. And it doesn't echo when struck. There seem to be three eroded spikes coming out of the top. What is it? Is it safe or should I dig it up? Looks like a cast iron cauldron, with the three short spikes acting as feet for it. My grandparents have had one upside down on their porch for my entire life. They're very heavy, and this one is probably packed with dirt. What is this black plastic with gold-colored pins? 2 inches by 1 inch. I have tried to check fitment in some electronic devices like an SD card, but does not fit items that are owned. It was found in my friend's belongings after he passed. He had an interest in electronic things. He was also in the military. This is a medical dog tag. We tried them out in the army back in the early 2000s. They didn't work well. We were a pain in the ass to wear, and were easily broken. I only know what this is because back when I was in Iraq, this thing was supposed to contain my shot record, the machine never updated the thing, and I wound up getting 9 anthrax booster shots. It is a small glass jar that has a grabbing arm built into the lid. It reaches neatly to the bottom of the jar. Might be for olives or something, but it would not be the easiest thing to use. Came from a box of crockery. From 50 to 100 years old. Possibly from England. Zero markings on the lid. What is it? It's a vintage sugar cube jar. My great aunt had one. It's tricky to use, but it does work. What is this ceramic thing approximately 30 centimeters or 12 inches tall? No holes in the base. Possibly retro or vintage. It has a signature on the base and could be a known artist or simply a pottery class creation. It's a ceramic upright spoon rest. Looks like it's probably custom made or homemade. What is this small metal gadget with turn valves and glass containers? A reasonably tiny object that has metal parts with wood handles for something and two glass holders. It's a carbolic spray for surgery. It is used in operating theaters in the 1870s and 1880s and filled the air with a pungent, yellow mist of an antiseptic called carbolic acid. British surgeon Joseph Lister invented it, hoping it would kill airborne bacteria, reducing the chance of infection during surgery. I found this metal utensil that looks like a tiny paddle. It's a small stainless steel paddle that I found in a dryer. It has 18-8 written on the back and a capital T with a circle around it. I have done several searches around these with a variety of the words paddle and pry, but no luck. It looks like it could be a little tool to pry open electronics. Any ideas? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.